Disclaimer: Our criticism in this video is not pointed towards any certain leader, party, or ideology, but only the actions and choices performed by groups and individuals. The publishers of this video stands for a united Kurdistan and has no interest in leaders or parties. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're gonna discuss our top 3 picks for reasons that Kurdistan isn't an independent country. If you have missed our previous top list videos, be sure to check that out, link will be in the description box below. As usual, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification button so that you don't miss our future videos. Now without further ado, let's get into the video and discuss our top 3 picks of why Kurdistan isn't independent. On third place, we put the geographical location of Kurdistan. Kurdistan is located in the Middle East. Today, Kurdistan is divided between four main countries, which are Turkey, Iran, Iraq and Syria. All of these countries has performed heavy persecution against the Kurdish people and has throughout time worked against Kurdish independence. The geographical location of Kurdistan couldn't be worse, since it is practically located only among enemies. The occupants of Kurdistan, Turkey, Iran, Iraq and Syria don't want to see an independent Kurdistan, since this would either create what they suspect an enemy state close by, but also because this probably could start a Kurdish uprising among their own Kurdish minority. The current geographical location of Kurdistan is very much like the Israeli geographical location. Israel, just like Kurdistan, is surrounded by enemies. The main difference here though is that Israel always been able to count on the United States while the Kurds have time after another been disappointed of the support from the states. Another difference is that Israel has an important connection with water, making it easy for them to connect themselves with the rest of the world. Even though Greater Kurdistan also has connection with water, it is controlled by Turkey, which are guarding this strategic and important spot carefully. If the Kurds would be able to get their hands of this piece of area, they would take a huge step towards an successful independent road. The geographical location of Kurdistan also includes a lot of important resources. This makes Kurdistan a place that many dreams of controlling. The Kurdish land contains a lot of gas, coal, copper, gold, iron, limestone, marble, zinc and most important oil. Counting Iraqi occupied Kurdistan, the amount of oil here would put Kurdistan on a top 6 place in the world while counting whole Kurdistan would put them on a fourth place. So for our number two, we have the fact that international interest collides with Kurdish independence. The area around Kurdistan is a very complicated one. US is against Russia, Russia supports Syria, which US is against. Syria fights Islamic organizations, which US first supported but which they now also are fighting. Kurds in Syria are also fighting these groups and therefore they got support by the US. However, the US ally Turkey is supporting the terrorists while fighting the Kurds due to their connection with the PKK which are marked as terrorists by almost all of Turkey's allies. Meanwhile, Israel and Turkey don't like each other, but they can't be so open with it because the US likes both of them. However, US hates Iran, which Israel also do, therefore they support the Kurds in Iran, which Turkey don't like. Matter of fact, Turkey don't like any support towards Kurds. They even oppose the Kurds in Iraqi occupied Kurdistan, which they allegedly has a good relationship with. You see, the situation is very complicated and there is a lot of alliances and enemies to break or change in order to accomplish an independent Kurdistan. A great step towards this would be to force Turkey out of NATO. This would give Israel and the US green light to act against Turkey. Another way of dealing with this scenario would be to watch how Turkey would react 
in the eventual upcoming war between Iran and US. Turkey has playing a double game, allying themselves with both Russia and Iran while allying themselves to the US. Turkey would without doubt have to pick a side if a concrete war between Iran and the US took place. Now for our top reason, the most important reason of Kurdistan not being independent is lack of unity. Look at this picture. For me, this says everything. Hold on Kurdistan, you will be one of the strongest states in the world. Is this possible? I would say that there is no doubt about it. The only thing that is in the way for us is the lack of unity. Throughout times, Kurds have been trapped into fighting each other in the most important times ever. One example is the 1994 Kurdish civil war where the two parties of KDP and PUK fought a war against each other, killing at least 5000 Kurds. This came in the middle of the process where Saddam Hussein was prevented by the US to interfere with Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. In this time, it is urgent for the Kurds to unite and create something strong. Instead, a war between two main parties starts, a war about power and money. The two leaders of the sides even seeked for alliance with Saddam Hussein to support one against the other. Imagine the desperation when you look for support from a mass murderer of the Kurds to fight one of your own. Another, more recent example is the 2017 referendum scenario where the Kurds had a golden chance to break out of Iraq. Now what happened here was that Iraq were on the front lines ready to fight the Kurds and the Kurds outnumbered the Iraqi army. However, suddenly, due to different orders from two different parties controlling Peshmerga, the Kurdish army were broken and chaos started. Iraqi army could easily take places that belongs to Kurdistan and these places are even today in Iraqi control. All of this due to our unity. What if Kurdistan would be independent today? Would we be able to agree on who our leader would be? Would we agree on which the Kurdish flag would be? Would we agree on which the capital city would be? The Kurds have all the chances to become one of the strongest states in the world, but this chance is not there as long as we are fighting each other rather than our enemies.